G'day guys, Bryce Edwards here. So in the previous Spark intro video, we covered some of the basics of using the SmartList feature. Uh, this week we're going to dive into SmartList in a lot more detail. Okay, but before we kick off, uh, for those of you that you know are fairly new to the Spark platform, there's probably a few things just worth noting about the general design uh, of the Spark interface, um, and really just in terms of how you navigate the platform. All right, so firstly, Spark's been designed to really maximize the amount of screen space, right? maximize the amount of data that's being displayed. Um, so you'll notice that down here on, on all of these columns, there's no headers. Right, so if you're new to using the program, you're sort of thinking, you know, what is all this data that's being displayed? The header descriptions have been left out to maximise the amount of space. Right, so um, if you're wanting to know exactly what these columns are being displayed, uh, just left click on the help icon down the bottom here, bottom right, um, hold down that left click on your mouse, and then hover over any of these columns, and it will give you a description of exactly what's being displayed. Okay, but I mean, after you start using it long enough, you already know exactly what, what, these, um, what these columns represent. Um, so that's the first point in terms of navigation. Um, the next is, I guess, really to introduce um, the concept of smart scaling. Uh, and what this is, is um, if you grab and resize these windows, you'll see that Spark automatically determines the optimal amount of data that's being displayed in the size of the window. So you can see that it adds and then, um, and then deletes columns as you change the size of the window, right? And it's obviously prioritizing uh, the most important data that's left. So you've got basically price and volumes, probably the most important. But as you bring it out, you'll notice that you get more and more info. So here you can see the names being added, uh, you can see, if you draw it out a little bit more, you can see the market cap of the company. Um, so if you ever want any more information, just draw out the, the size of the window. All right, so that's the first two important points to make just about navigation. Um, now let's get into some basics and, and look at creating and saving uh, your very first smart list. Uh, right, so whenever you, you save a smart list or even a watch list or a custom chart for that matter, uh, it actually goes up to the toolbar up here, right? So these are your, your various menus. When you save a new smart list, uh, it just goes over to your, your list of saved smart lists or your favorites over here, and then you simply drag and drop to the window. It's pretty simple. All right, um, so what we'll do first is just start with a new smart list. Make sure it's blue up the top and that designates which window you, you're working in. Um, so we'll start with the top right and we'll just hit new over from the, uh, the toolbar and we'll start fresh. Right, so if we right click anywhere on the window, this gives us uh, our menus and uh, this is where we can go in and uh, tinker with some of the, um, the parameters. Um, so what we're going to do is create a fairly basic smart list. Uh, we're going to look at a, a smart list that looks for um, spec stocks. Uh, probably trading at their highs is, is, is the easiest. So we'll come into levels. Um, we'll look at, um, we'll sort by stocks trading at their highs. Um, and then the next thing that we're going to do is cull that list. Um, so that we're looking for a group of, of stocks within our particular range. Right, so I mentioned spec stocks. Let's start with a price range of, say, 10 to $0.50. Cents. We've got the minimum and the maximum. This is all done in cents. So if you wanted $5, it would obviously be $500. Uh, we're going to look at 10 to 50 Hit Enter. Uh, the next is turnover. This is dollar value uh, of turnover per day, uh, which you can see up here total turnover. I'm not interested in, in some of this stuff that's only trading um, tiny amounts per day. So we're actually going to throw a minimum turnover of, let's say, you know, only $30,000 hit enter. And you can see that they're all gone. Um, the next is market cap. Um, oh, by the way, the, the K, K and T is both in thousands. Uh, it's the same thing. If I type T, it'll default to K. So that's thousands, millions, billions. Um, market cap, you know, I'm not really, let's drag this out so we can see the market cap. Not interested in the, the 9 mil, 10 mil stuff. Um, let's run with a minimum 20 mil turnover, sorry, market cap. 
uh, and then the number of trades per day, um, not really interested. So you don't have to complete all these parameters, you can just leave anything blank. Um, so that's the ranges, so we've done our levels, our ranges, um, in a basic smart list, probably, you know, that'll do for the time being. The only thing that we want to have a look at now is, is the order, um, the order in which these stocks are going to be displayed. So currently being displayed in alphabetical order by the code. Um, let's change that to percentage change. So we're seeing the biggest gainers at the top. Um, if you wanted to do this in reverse and have a look at the, the biggest losers on the day, you'd obviously go into levels, change to trading at low, and then reverse the ordering so that it's showing you the worst performers at the top. Okay, uh, so we'll change that back, add high, um, and that's the ordering. The only other thing that's probably worth mentioning in a pretty simple um, smart list is this relative volume and particularly because we're looking at specs um, when you're trading specs and, you know, in particular um, you know a big breakout or something like that you want to see it happen on some pretty big volume um, so this is a really handy function let's click week average and you can see that it's added these three columns uh, I'm actually recording this on a Saturday um, so this you know a lot of this data is missing it's probably not a good example but if you hold um, the help it'll explain exactly what it is um, so this column will be populated with the average weekly volume done in this stock um, from the market open until this particular time of day so it's like nearly one o'clock what that's going to tell you is the volume done from the open up until that particular time on average for the previous week right and then it's going to tell you you know the difference between today's volume and the average weekly volume in number of units and then percentage difference right so this is really really key in the spec stocks I mean you want to be trading stuff particularly uh, you know when you when you're seeing a, a big move you want it to be to be um, to be moving on big volume so that's pretty important Right, so that's um, the basics. That's our first uh, first smart list, just of a spec stocks trading at their highs. Um, what we're going to do now is go in and save the smart list. Right, so we'll go over to file. Uh, what are we going to call it? Let's say ten to fifty cent stocks. I think we said, uh, and they're ordered by percentage gainers. Uh, just hit enter. And you'll see that it's been added over here to my um, smart list list. All right, so um, then you simply just drag and drop, and uh, and the list is there. If you want to make any changes, just go in and you can, um, you know, let's say we want to order it by volume. As soon as you make that change, it's actually saved to, um, you know, saved to the the, the toolbar over here. Uh, we'll change that back. And that's how it's been um, been saved. Uh, if you want to get rid of the list, you simply uh, left click and then drag and drop it down to remove, and it's gone. Okay, so that's the um, the very first uh, smart list. Um, what we're going to do over the the, the next couple of weeks, um, that was a fairly basic smart list just to start you off. In the next video, we're actually going to go back and look at using a few more advanced functions. So we're going to look at the delta function and a few more advanced smart list features. All right. So as I mentioned in the last video, FP Markets are actually running uh, an extended free trial of the Spark platform. Um, so take advantage of that. And then over the course of the next couple of videos, I'm going to bring you up to speed uh, on how to use some of these uh, more advanced features. So until then... Uh, good luck in the markets, and I'll see you next time.